It's common to see people bouncing a crying baby to get them to stop, and if you're one of them, stop that. Recent studies show if the baby is shaken too hard, it could result in permanent damage or even death. Park Se-young points out, points out to us the dangers of shaken baby syndrome. When caring for a crying baby, shaking the baby too hard can cause what's known as shaken baby syndrome. If a baby is forcefully shaken, the brain moves back and forth inside the skull, causing bruising, swelling, and bleeding. It usually occurs when frustrated parents or caregivers severely shake a crying baby. Shaken baby syndrome happens most often in infants up to one year, with babies under six months being most at risk. The symptoms are quite vague. The baby can seem limper and more irritable than usual and have a small appetite. Some clear signs would be altered consciousness and seizures. When driving with young children, they must be seated in baby car seats to stay protected from sudden stops and bumpy rides. Park Se-young, Arirang News.